It's time for another short attention span video. So let's just do it. See how I'm doing with a big spoon? And I'm just trying to capture only the fat. And what I'm pouring it into here is a separator that I bought for four dollars. There's a little bit of the chicken stock there, but mostly we got all the fat out. We'll take the chicken out of here carefully. It does come apart at this point if you grab it roughly, and um, that's kind of what we're looking for in terms of doneness. So if you take a look at the chicken, it comes apart very easily off the bone, like that. We have a lot of leafy green vegetables, Italian parsley, cilantro, which is surprisingly good as a leafy green herb in lots of uh, different dishes. So I'm just going to cut the, top, the leafy tops off of these. The next thing we want to do is just chop them very finely. We just got done removing some of the fat off the top of the boiled chicken and uh, leaving our stock in the pot and pulling the chicken out. And now what we're doing is we're uh, prepping the vegetables that are going to go in the soup while that chicken's cooling. So that chicken is in my freezer cooling out at a high rate of speed. Inside the leek here, it peels off just like an onion. And it's very important to wash this area. You can see it's nice and clean here. So whenever you get it from the grocery store, want to peel them apart and wash them. What we're going to do now is take the chicken that's been cooled in the refrigerator and separate it, make sure that the bones are off of there, and uh, put the meat into the pot. Um, what we've done is we've separated the chicken off of the bone. Now we're bringing it back to a boil. I'm going to break up all these pieces of chicken. I have this pasta ladle, and the pasta ladle has some fingers on it. And the fingers tend to just break up that chicken into little strings. As you see, as I'm mixing and agitating the bottom of it, the chicken pieces are getting smaller and smaller in here. So now we've got our soup boiling again, and uh, the pot's nice and hot and steamy, and we're boiling our separated chicken back in the bowl. We've broken it up a little bit, and we're going to add this first hard vegetable, which is our celery, into that nice boiling pot. We're going to leave the boil on anywhere from two and a half to five minutes, depending on the weather and how cold your kitchen is and how big your burner is. I put the celery back in, and now the boil has reduced. So I'm going to let it start boiling again, and when it's ready, I'll add in the next bunch of vegetables. Okay, so now I've brought my soup back to the boil, and I've turned it off so that we don't overboil, overcook these vegetables right here. These are our semi-hard vegetables, and they're going to go into the soup, and when they go in, this soup's going to cool off just a little bit in general. All right, so we've got our hard and semi-hard vegetables in here, and uh, they've been in here for, uh, for a total of six minutes now and we're just mixing them together. The burner is now off on this pot of soup. You can see how hot it is. It's going to stay hot for a very long time. So there's no need to keep cooking it with fire. So now it's time to add the final vegetables and these are our soft leafy greens and they're uh, being added in at the very last when the pot is not so hot. It's cooled off a bit from the addition of the other vegetables. And uh, we're going to put in these last leafy greens. You notice I have a large bowl almost as big as the soup pot itself. The reason for that is these are very important. Now that I've added all the leafy greens, you can see the full range of color in this soup. Um, this is a very, very thick and hearty soup, if you will. I know that's used a lot in advertising and a lot of other types of processed foods, but I believe that this is really where those expressions come from because this is a thick and healthy soup, good for your heart, good for your bones, good for your skin and teeth, and just about everything else in your body. Important for taste is to have some lime, some lemon, and some sea salt and pepper. Those are the basics. So I'm going to just put in half of a large lemon, a whole ripe lime, Here it is. There it is. The final uh, 
test. Does it taste? As good as it looks? As good as it looks. I hope so. Is it edible? I yeah. hope so. I think it's going to be pretty damn good. Okay, John, see your bowl? Yep, here we are. All right. Thanks, sir. Hold on, let me get you some more of that nice broth, since that's where all the power lies, brother. All right. Excellent. All right. Yeah. There it is. All right, see if I feel healthier. Very good.